Hi and welcome back. Soul Talk number 12 coming up. It's really good to be back from uh, a couple of days outside of the office. Uh, as I told you last time, I've been to Finland with the under 20 national team uh, playing the European Championship. Had a great time, met our guys over there, Yamar, uh, rocking the Slatan jersey. Appreciate that. And of course, Tina. She was rocking everyone else's jersey. No, she was she was a good supporter for the Finnish teams in uh, in Helsinki. Uh, also, Matthew Sasu. We'll see what happens. It was a good time meeting you as well. Uh, competing for the national teams. I know Dino Pita and Charles Barton Jr. are competing for a spot on the Swedish team. Uh, Adam Adarbo is competing for a spot on the Danish team. And Lune Badingson is on the Icelandic team. I can guarantee you he will be there if he is healthy all through the summer. The women's team uh, doesn't play until November, I think, next time. But they have a camp and both Martina and the Elderbring twins are in the lineup for the Swedish team at least. And I know Tina is for the Finnish. Uh, Krista, we'll see. What else has been going on? We have been getting a lot of new stuff. We're going to present some for you right now but also check out the site it's new stuff coming up every day and our main man Isaac is working his butt off trying to get those pictures and videos up there for you so check the site out as often as you can because there's new stuff dropping and it's barely time to Instagram it so so check that out we also started snapchat so make sure you follow us there it's uh, soul story yeah, it's a single name no dots no SEs, no ads or anything it's soul story we're trying to post some stories every day, so check that out also. We're still in early August, so I know a lot of teams haven't started team practices yet, uh, which means we're in the season between seasons. Some people call it off-season, but we don't, because there is no off-season, as you already seen on the Soul Squad videos. Uh, don't forget, there's still time left to uh, send us your best video of you training in the summertime uh, you got a chance to win a lot of stuff from jordan training uh, i think it's 2000 swedish corner for for the first place winner and a lot of other stuff winning and for that kind of money you can get these the jordan trainer one you got both the the, the high version which is basically just the neoprene sock or the low one uh, that we had for a couple of days now and it's extremely comfortable it got the turf outsole it's uh, the zoom heel uh, cushioning We've got the little booty inside here uh, it's not really a sock liner it's just like a, a really comfortable uh, sock and uh, this one is the same but it's higher than of course uh, i really like the look of it it got the woven elephant print on top uh, these colorways right now, more coming during the season, but check these out and of course the other Jordan training gear. We finally got our first delivery from Under Armour and it's not any kind of delivery, it's the Curry 2.5 that we received in the Maryland Terrapins colorway. At least I think that's what it is. It's got the white, got the red, got the yellow and some black in it. So for me that's Maryland. Uh, this is a really nice product. Uh, we've been maybe you saw the unboxing video just the other day that we did on Facebook been wearing it for a couple of days just to feel it out and the charge cushioning is uh, extremely nice uh, I wasn't really expecting that uh, it was my uh, first pair of curries so they felt really nice on my feet uh, got a lot of special stuff going on got the burrito uh, lacing or sock liner fit here with, with everything wrapping around the foot which is real comfortable I like this overlay of plastic striping uh, I think it's not only looks good but it's, it seems to have some great function as well and of course all the small things uh, I can do all things inside here on the little plastic thing it's barely seen uh, with your own eye you gotta focus and, and really look for it but those kind of things and the coordinates for the Oracle Arena in the Bay Area it's also on the back here uh, small stuff like that and appreciate uh, Under Armour helping us out to, to get these in time and uh, uh, based on the first couple of orders coming in it seems to be a popular shoe so make sure you get yours we get more colorways uh, in the coming weeks but this is the first one we have and it's a really nice product so make sure you get it.
Adida blessed us with some new tubulars. It's the Nova in a prime knit upper, both white and black. Really nice pairs and the prime knit of course is excellent and I think this white wine with a uh, little beige or sand colored uh, lace loops are a really nice addition here for the late summer nights. We still got a couple of good weeks left of, of good quality sun so uh, make sure you check these out. We don't only got a limited uh, amount so make sure you get those. This will be in store and online shortly uh, so make sure you get those and, and of course the black one with the black tubular sole I think it's real sleek and uh, the triple black it's uh, it's always working somehow and with the gradient of I don't know if you can tell it's a kind of a lighter shade of, of black almost grayish uh, on some parts of the prime knit that gives a, a special feel to it so uh, I think we got these in men's sizing, but also all the way down to size 6, if I'm not mistaken. So make sure you get those, as I said, limited amount, so, so get those fast. Let's take a look at this week's upcoming releases, and all releasing on Saturday. Uh, I know the Jordan 7 was supposed to release Saturday, but been postponed a week, so it will be next Saturday for the Jordan 7. But what we got coming is a special pair of Air Force One Low Retros. And these, I don't know about you, but I start thinking about old school guys like Moses Malone and guys who used to play in white and red shoes back in the day. Even Barkley could have been an option for this, but he's a little too young for just this pair. Uh, extremely nice with the old and heavy feel to it. You got the, the genuine leather. Uh, if you check out all the detailing and the, the sock liner, you can almost feel the early 80s vibes coming out of this pair. And I think it's really nice. We have a white and deep royal pair already that released uh, a week ago that is also in the same same kind of setup and it's really nice and uh, this pair is just I think this is uh, needed for any good collection to have the the retro ones and, and the heavy feel of it don't mean I don't appreciate the fly nets and the lightness of those but this is just some some OG feel about this whole thing so make sure you check these out this will be available both in store and online on Saturday also dropping Saturday is the Nike Air More Uptempo in the white gum edition i think it's a really nice colorway you know we had the olympic colorway releasing uh, last weekend and that was really nice of course but this is more of a modern touch to it and the gum sole kind of makes it all in the all white upper i think it's uh, it's a nice and fresh take on the air more up tempo and it's the third release this year of the up tempo and it's been long awaited for at least by me so looking forward for that one and uh, also coming on saturday is the Kyrie 2 parade uh, you got the white black and some vault in it uh, nice colorway i actually saw when we played israel in the under 20 championships uh, we played uh, david blatt's son uh, and he wore those and i was kind of standing on the sideline coaching and thinking about where did he get those were those special made for him or uh, I guess his dad and the carry are still tight so you get the hookup so that was nice of young Blatt to pull those out a couple of weeks earlier but uh, the rest of us are waiting for that parade and uh, coming Saturday. Okay guys thank you for watching don't forget to follow us on snapchat where our soul story no dots no se just soul story on snapchat on instagram it's soulstory.se and Facebook is facebook.com slash soulstory.se and Twitter is at soulstory underscore se. Also, uh, make sure you check out our release calendar. Uh, just scroll down a couple of uh, blocks on the first page, on the home page, and you'll find the release calendar. Click it and it will expand and you get all the coming releases, at least until September, I think it's updated with now. So check that out. And uh, if you have anything you want to know, just let us know through our social media. Thank you.